WICR, rocking the campus in New Rochelle. WICR. What's up, guys? And we're back. So, hope you enjoy the music if you're watching live right now. Uh, so, next topics, we are going to talk about leagues. So, start off with uh, everyone's favorite, the Champions League. Walsh, you excited for that? Oh, absolutely. How could you not be? Uh, Champions League is the best, man. You get you get to see just all top clubs competing. I, I, it's so much fun because you always have the people who say, um, you know, there are people who say the Barclays Premier League is the best league. And then, you know, last year people were saying, well, how come Chelsea didn't even make it to the semis? And then there are people who are like, oh, Serie A doesn't get enough respect and look at how good Juventus was. And, yeah. and then you always have, you know, the, the La Liga fans who say, well, look, we win it every freaking year. Um, but I think that just... Just be able to watch the competition. I mean, every all the time, you just have good teams facing off, and it's just always exciting soccer to watch. Um, I think it's great. I love it. Yeah, so, uh, you know, for people who don't know, uh, you know, as Walsh kind of, like, you know, hinted it out, uh, it's basically, you know, uh, I guess a competition where, uh, you know, teams from different leagues, you know, La Liga, BPL, uh, Serie A, Liga, uh, um, all over. I mean, they, over, even... Yeah. Um, Portuguese leagues, I don't even know. Yeah, PSV is in it uh, from the outer DVZ. Yeah. Uh, the Russian league with Shakhtar and yeah. Zedit. Yep. yep. All those, all those, all those are in there. Yeah. So uh, you know, it this week's the first week. You know, exciting. You know, it's always an exciting year. Uh, you know, as Walsh kind of also hinted out, you know, La Liga. You know, any team from La Liga pretty much wins it all every almost every year. You know, you either have. Real Madrid, Barcelona, or Atletico Madrid. Yeah, Atletico snuck in there one year. Yeah, they did. It was like two years ago, right? Yeah, yeah but but yeah. Real still took it. Yeah. So uh, anyway, you know, it it's just a competition where all those teams come in, you know, see who's the best, you know, team in the world. I guess. Uh, personally, you know, I, I I think you know personally, uh, you know, the one team that I want to see win it again is Barcelona, who won it last year. That's just me, you know. I, <laughs> you know, uh, I just been a hard, you know, Barcelona fan since oh, I don't know, man, like about two thousand six or five, something like that. Before mm-hmm. Lionel Messi even, you know, blew up into this, you know, big superstar. Right. So you know, this is, I, I, I have a feeling they will make it. Uh, but you know, you don't know. A lot of great teams this year. You know, they're, they're looking good. Uh, it's gonna be t- you know, always a great year for the Champions League. Well, should you, uh, who do you support? Uh, well, I'm a, I'm a Manchester United fan. Uh, they had just lost yesterday to PSV, which in uh, Memphis Depay has returned to home. Uh, an upsetting defeat. They kind of dominated play, but weren't able to come away with a victory. They'll play uh, Wolfsburg um, a couple a, a little bit from now. But as far as who I think is going to win, <clears throat> you know, it's it's always hard to say. It's always hard to say this early. Um, a lot of times people pretty much now are down though between Barcelona and Real Madrid. I think right now Real Madrid is playing better. They're the be- they've been the better of the two sides. Right, right. Um, I think today is going to be a good game though for Barcelona. They're going up against Roma. When you look at all the fixtures of today's slate, it's a really not too many um big games, not that many exciting games. Right, right. Uh, a lot of them are probably going to be blowouts. Maybe uh, Valencia against Zenit will be close. But uh, Barcelona-Roma, obviously supposed to be a Barcelona blow, but if they if they play kind of how they have been in La Liga, which has not been very impressive, no, yeah. uh, Roma's good enough to to, um, to give them a run for their money. Yeah, most definitely. <clears throat> so I think that's important, though, for Barcelona to play well and get back on form today. Yeah. So... You say you were Manchester United. Uh, mm-hmm. how, how do you think they'll do this year? Uh, well, I mean, obviously, getting off to the to the you know the the defeat to PSV is, is no good. You you really you don't like that. But um, on the road is tough. Those PFs, uh, you know, the fans were were electric for sure for them. Um, the the next one for United is, is coming up against um, Wolfsburg, and I, I have to favor United. Um, Truthfully, I think Wolfsburg is is, a, is a, you know they're they're missing their their big player Kevin De Bruyne with the transfer over to right. City. Yeah, uh, won the Bundesliga Player of the Year last year. I think that's just such a huge blow. He's a big reason as to why Wolfsburg is actually in this tournament. Um, so with all that said, I I would expect Manchester United to come away with a victory in that one. Now, how far they can go after that, I really 
I think it, it's it's hard to tell. It, dep- it just depends on, um, you know, how the people are playing. The, the new kid, Martial, scored in his debut yeah. for United. Looked good in, in yesterday's game. Wasn't able to get on the score sheet, but had some good chances. Uh, I think the pay is starting to really um, find some comfort there, which I think is good. The Luke Shaw injury that did happen yesterday... Um, He's going to be out for quite some time now, which is upsetting. But, you know, they move Blind over to left back, bring in Rojo, which is is not the worst case scenario. Blind just doesn't have that pace of Shaw to get up and down the flanks, which you which you really like and to play off to pay. Um, where I think the key for them, though, is going to come from probably a combination of... Uh, of Rooney and, and the and the midfielders behind him, that mixture of Schweinsteiger and Schneiderlin and Herrera, yeah. to see how how well they can feed Rooney up top and Rooney to be able to finish. He's kind of got off to a slow start when they played. I believe it's Club Brigade. I'm not sure if that's exactly how you say it. Yeah, it's something like that. But yeah. but um, he he had the hat trick. Oh yeah, yeah. Which was um which was good. It kind of got him back into a little bit of a rhythm. Um, but United, I, I think that they have some potential that they can do some good things. I think one thing that you always like to have when you enter this type of competition, the elite levels, is uh, a big-time goalkeeper, someone that can keep you in games. And with De Gea, right. they have that. And I think that that can allow United to go to make a decent run. That's true. You know, uh, some people also, you know, we don't know. Uh, De Gea was just signed for another four-year contract extension with United. Uh, so we will not be leaving to Real Madrid. So you know, I think that's a good thing. As you said, you know, they need a Manchester United definitely need a strong keeper because right now they are struggling on the defensive side a lot. And uh, you know, Louis Van Hall, I don't know what he's doing. You know, what what's his plan? But he definitely needs to get more strong defenders in his back. Yeah, uh, the transfer window was a really confusing one. Uh, all the Sergio Ramos talks in regards to getting rid of the, the De Gea swap never went through. Um, they're always supposed to sign Mats Hummels, and that just never happens. He never want, He doesn't seem to, to want to leave Dortmund. Right. Um, the real one that was, was a lot, very confusing was uh, Nicolas Otamendi coming over from Valencia. He was supposed to be a guaranteed signing. He was begging to be um, transferred over to United. He seemed very excited about that that move the fans were very excited it was supposed to be a big deal he definitely would have been one of our starting center backs alongside Smalling who's been very good um to the opening uh start of the season but didn't didn't happen Von Hal decided not to pull the trigger now he was wearing a city uniform it's just so weird I mean the same thing happened to Pedro except he's now over at Chelsea it was very yeah. confusing yeah. um yeah I do think that the back line it I really would like to see them get, um, you know, a bigger name center back. I, Lucio, although he's injured, I think is, is a quality, quality left back. I think Matteo Darmian, the right back that they brought over from Torino, is very good. Uh, Smalling has shown that he's good, and then De Gea and Net. But I think um, another class center back, another guy that they can trust, rely on, would make a big difference. And then just the pieces up top need to get the chemistry and play together and and find them back in the net. Yeah. Uh, all right. So well, you know, we're gonna jump right. Up. Out of the Champions League and into Serie A, which is in Italy, for those who don't know. So, right now, Serie A, it's looking like it's anyone's game right now. Um, for people also who don't know, uh, Juventus, you know, uh, won the Serie A league last year. Um, you know, they were just so dominating last year with Tevez, Pirlo, and Pogba. But, unfortunately, they had, they you know, Pirlo and Tevez actually left Juventus, so now... You know, Juventus is in this, you know, all-time, you know, powerful Italian team that, you know, and no one can stop. So, pretty much, you know, it's anyone's game now in the Serie A. And uh, it's just crazy how, you know, one, how two players can, you know, make a big difference in your team. Yeah, um, I mean, obviously right now they're off to, uh, to a slow start, which is unexpected from a team who's won the league, um... Since the 2011-2012 season, every year the last two seasons, um, so not this one, but the, the two prior, they won it by 17 points each, which is just huge gaps. Um, so the slow start definitely is what you 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 think could open the window for someone, but I still think that Juventus is just easily the best team in my opinion. Um, yesterday they beat City. Now City has been dominating the BPL. They have been they haven't lost a game yet. And then Juventus was able to get that two one victory. And I think that Juventus is probably now going to use that to find their form. I just still think they are 
the best team in the Serie A. And I don't think it's similar to the BPL, where... There, there, there's, there's not another team like them. When you look at the BPL, how Chelsea's got off to that slow start, um, you know there are teams like Man City and Arsenal or, or United who can really bury them and, and and get out to big leads. And then there's a lot of those mid-level teams that can really hurt them. I don't think the Serie A necessarily has that. I think it's Juventus is tier one, and I don't necessarily think there's anyone else in that tier. I just think they are the best team in that league and I would still expect Juventus to win the league. Yeah, you know, um, you know, like you said, it is still pretty early in the season. I mean, they are at like I think sixteenth place right now, which is, you know, not really common for them since, you know, last couple of years they've been uh, you know, on top mostly. But uh, you know, like you said, uh, you know, it's still early. We still got a lot of time they still got a lot of time, you know, to get back up. Um Personally, you know, I also would support uh, Juventus, um, but you know, the the main man right now who's you know who probably has all the pressure now is Pogba. Absolutely, because Pogba, you know, he's he's the man, you know, in the middle, you know, making the big plays. You know, everyone expects him to to do something good. Um, you know, so with all that pressure, you know, it's kind of hard for you know one player to you know make make the team win like almost every game because. You know, one player can't really do the works of, you know, all midfielders and forwards and defenders, which is insane. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if, you know, if any, if every other, you know, player on, on the Juve team, you know, all the other midfielders, you know, forwards, if they can, you know, step up, you know, do their part as well, you know, probably, you know, surpass Pogba, you know, then, you know, the, the whole the whole team, you know, probably win City A again. Yeah, I think that um the signing of Paolo Dybala, he he's had he has a pair of goals on the season. I think that he's going to be very good. I actually think that um Alvaro Morta, who got the goal for them yesterday, gave them the uh, the win over City. I think that he's going to be um I think he's going to be really good. I think that he's he's a player with a lot of potential. I I really like I really like him. I, I noticed him in the Champions League last year, and I kind of you know I just I don't he seems always be in that right position. His positioning is is top notch. I just think he's a good player, and it's hard to replace a guy like Tevez who last year was just so so good. But they still have a very good midfield, obviously commanded by Pogba. And you think about the back line is still Chiellini, Buffon, and all those guys back there. So I really do feel that this team is going to still win this this area. I still I just think they're too talented. Yeah. All right. Well, you know. So we were, you know, how we were talking about what, who our favorite team was. But what team do you actually like? Which league do you actually like to watch? Like, you know, you say you were a Manchester United fan, but, you know, probably BPL isn't, like, you know, your favorite league to watch. Like, you know, what what league gets you excited? You know, what, what what's that one league that you know that outstands other leagues that, in your opinion, you think is the best? For me, it actually is the BPL. Uh, I really enjoy watching what, whatever game I can. Uh, I'll always tune in to watch Chelsea or City. Um, when you have the Liverpool-Arsenal games, I think those are exciting. I mean... You even look at a team like Leicester City, who's found themselves within the top four, yeah. um, who, who's played some exciting soccer. I, I think the BPL for me is is um is the league that if I could only watch one, it would be one. Um, but if I had to give credit to another league, I would just say that what La Liga has that no other league can really match at the moment is El Clasico. Because obviously when you have the Manchester Derby, like that is, is a huge, huge rivalry. Oh, yeah. But there's, at the moment in this world, like, mainly because of what it's Ronaldo and Messi, mm -hmm. there's nothing like El Clasico. Nothing like El right, Clasico. Right. But as far as a league go, it, it's BPL. Understandable. You know, that that actually does sound like a good reasoning. Um, You know, like you said, there's always something interesting. Like, you know, the Man the Manchester Derbies, you know, that that's something, you know, could go both ways because you know both Manchester United and City are really good teams. So you know every year, you know it's always a different result. You know whenever they play, you know one year you could have Man Man United win, you the other you could have Man City win. Mm -hmm. So you know it's always that you know that that's just always that one surprising. And like you said, um, the team uh, Leicester actually is how they pronounce it in England. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, you know surprising. You know they no one no one would. Think would have thought that they would be like you know on top of the standings because you know they're 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 a small team, you know small small supporting team as well, 
but they're playing actually really well this season, yeah. which is amazing. You know, I'm uh, pretty sure they got uh, you know promoted to the BPL, and like last week I talked about you know um, three other teams. It was QPR, whole city, and I uh, I think it was whole city. I forgot what else other teams got relegated from the BPL, but you know, like you said, uh, you know BPL is exciting. Um, me personally, uh, I guess if I were to, you know, favor a league, I guess I, for me personally, I guess I would say, uh, MLS and I say MLS because, you know, I, you know, we're, we're not like, you know, that high paced league, you know, it's like La Liga, BPL, City R, whatever, but there's always, you know, you know, they're expanding, you know, um, they got those new teams, you know. They got uh, Atlanta and uh, the newly promote, um, newly uh, named team, um, LA Los Angeles Football Club. That you know, their uh, team name just got announced yesterday, which is awesome. Mm-hmm. And uh, you know, they're still growing. You know, uh, even there's the you know the works of uh, a Miami team also coming that David Beckham wants to create, which I think is awesome. And you know, they 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 just always create players that you know that start like you know from a no name and you know become a big name like you know Landon Donovan you know Alexi Lalas uh Tim Howard um Tony Mayola you know going way back to you know the early years of uh, MLS so uh you know I think the MLS you know in my opinion is probably like really great uh league to watch um like you said you know if you were to credit another team definitely say you know La Liga because as you stated you know the Clasico against Barcelona Real Madrid it's, it's always electrifying you know you have the people pumped, you know, it's always a great matchup, you know, it's never a dull moment in that game, in that matchup where, you know, it, you know, it's going to be boring, it's always going to be a great game no matter what, you know, whoever, whoever's playing it, you know, it could be, you know, their subs or, you know, even their starters, so, you know, it's a great, great thing, awesome thing, yeah, so, uh, all right, let's jump into some Iona news, you know, real quickly, uh, so rugby play the rugby team men's rugby play this Saturday at a uh, University of Buffalo Saturday at Buffalo um, day of services is Saturday you know still time to sign up everyone um, I own a men's soccer take on Delaware at 4:30 on Mizell Field today are you gonna go to that I'll be there no that's gonna be a real good game I spoke to a couple kids on the soccer team they are all really pumped for that match uh, Delaware is supposed to be a very good good team and they're hot right now the men's team two two wins in a row they're very very excited it's gonna be a great game if you can't make it out yeah so you know if you're not doing anything at 4:30 no classes no you know no whatever you know definitely come out uh, like Walsh said it's gonna be a great game so you know come out support team. And tonight we have, you know, who gives a fudge at 5 p.m. in the TV room. And Coffee House is tonight. First Coffee House tonight <coughs> of the year is tonight at 9 p.m. in Spellman Hall. All right, guys. So we're going to take a quick break. We'll be back. <laughs> 